No matter how precise and careful you are when recording your screencasts, there will probably be times when you'll need to cut out a section of audio or video or split a clip into two. In order to cut something from the timeline, you'll need to make a selection first using the green and red in and out points on the playhead. At times, using the zoom in and zoom out controls can be extremely helpful when making precise selections to cut on the timeline. For example, if you want to remove the first couple seconds from your recording, just click and drag the red out point to make a selection, and click the cut icon. The selected area is now gone, and all clips on the timeline slide to the left to keep everything aligned and in sync. One important note is that making a cut on your timeline will remove everything that is selected on all tracks. Right now the Video 1 and Audio 1 tracks are linked together, and by selecting to cut or split one, you do the same to the other. It is possible to unlink these two tracks by clicking this button here. You'll be prompted with a message asking if you want to permanently unlink these two tracks. Once unlinked, this makes it possible to lock the individual tracks by clicking on this icon. All cuts and edits will only affect the unlocked tracks. In this case, it would be the video track. When working with separated audio and video tracks, make sure that your audio and video stay in sync and adjust the clips as needed. If you change your mind and want the tracks to be linked again, click the undo button to join them back together. The split feature is used to divide a clip into multiple clips. This is helpful if you ever want to add additional media between these clips, like a transition, title slide, or another recording. Making multiple splits can also be used to cut out a section of the timeline. Once the splits are made, right-click the section and choose Remove from Timeline. The section is now gone and everything moved left on the timeline to remain aligned. The next video in this series will show you how to add a title clip.